tell you something. My name is Jebediah Hawthorne, and I am your boss. You called me because of faulty equipment that may be a hazard. You want me to shut down production. That would cost me time and money. I think you know what I want you to do. Safety is not my primary concern, Mr. Culpepper. You have a job to do. It's a job that I expect you to get done one way or another. Because if you don't get it done, someone else will. Are we clear on that? Now fix it. Frankie, glad you're here. I know you want to do the right thing for the family. The Hawthorne family business is just as important to you as it is to me. Uncle Jeb, I do feel the family business is important. It's music to my ears, Frankie. Let's go inside, have some drinks, and have some laughs. Come on. No, Uncle. What? I'm tired of fighting you over this. Frankie, all you have to do is give in. It's the smart thing to do. You pushed me around for the last time. I haven't pushed you hard enough, Frankie. What about this band? What if it never makes it? What if one of these little hoes gets knocked up? What then, Frankie? I control you. Don't forget, Frankie. I own you. Never forget that. Never. You got something on me, that's for sure. But I'll find a way to get away from you. That I promise. story, Vicky. I'm not listening. You don't want to hear about my troubles. Well, I'd like to help you if I could. Thanks, but nobody can help me. Although it would be nice to have some company ease some of the pain. You want to go see a movie? Sure. Let's go to the Rex. How'd that thing turn out with your hypnotist? Vondelin. My housemaid said there was a very pretty detective here to see me. I see she was not lying. Does your housekeeper ever lie to you, doctor? Mrs. Cromwell always looks out for my best interest. I rely on her to keep me well informed. Then she must be very valuable to you. Her strong intuition and many resources have saved my life countless times. Such loyalty is hard to come by these days, wouldn't you say? Yes, Miss Pendleton, and it requires a bond that must not be broken. Now, what is the reason for your visit? Natalie Brew is dead, Doctor. How well did you know her? That is unfortunate. She was a very nice girl. She told you she was a stripper. Did she pay you well? She paid what she could. I am not looking for blood, money. But I have a feeling that many women have been through this house. I run a business with clients who are usually of the fairer sex. Are you accusing me of something, detective? If so, come right out and say it. Natalie had her share of problems. But what was it that she had to see you about? I cannot discuss that with you. I can sense a tragic amount of turmoil happened here. Are you a psychic detective? No. I've never experienced anything like this before. I can help you bring out your gift with hypnotism, Sarah. I can't be hypnotized, and I don't really have time for this either. I have questions that need to be answered. Ask what you want. I have nothing to hide. Why did you come to this country? America is the land of plenty. My country was becoming boxed in, almost claustrophobic. 
and there was violence. I had to get away. What a one of them. Since I enter and help me. I'd say it's about time I get some new candles. I knew she was in danger. I sensed it. And now, I know for sure. Are you really as good as a hypnotist as they say? It has been a very long day. And you're getting tired. You should go home and get some rest. <laughs>